This is what a very classical colon cancer looks like. You could see the normal mucosal folding all throughout here and here and here. But in the middle, we have a tumor that does not look like it is a flat but folded mucosa. It looks like it's a proliferation of epithelial or glandular tissue. And this is absolutely classic for what almost every of the million colon tumors I have seen in my life grow like. In addition, if you were to take a cut through this tumor in the thickest part or in the part in which it was looked like to you like it was in closest association with the muscular wall, you might see something that looks like this. You could see the white area here uh, as representing wall. You could see this grayer area as representing muscular wall. But look, there's a little part of this that actually has grown into the smooth muscle. And for a colon tumor to grow into the smooth muscle is even worse prognosis than if it just limits itself to the submucosa. This is a higher stage. This is a higher Duke stage. Notice here, this is normal mucosa. This is normal submucosa. This is normal wall. This is normal serosa or adventitia. And this is normal fat. Here is colon cancer that is involving submucosa, but perhaps not necessary muscle. But as you could see, extends here into this grayish muscular band over here. Let's look at it microscopically. And once again, I think I could convince you this is a normal mucosa. It looks like the submucosa has been ripped away a little bit, and there's even some ripping of the muscular layer here. You know that all this is muscle, all this pink stuff is muscle. Uh, let's not just say it, let's prove it. Uh, here's normal mucosa, normal mucosa, normal mucosa, normal mucosa, normal mucosa normal mucosa coming up over this submucosal bump, normal mucosa, normal mucosa, normal mucosa, normal mucosa, and then all of a sudden you have a widely proliferated mucosa. And then you could see underneath that these glands have infiltrated into the submucosa because all of this now where you have all this vascular tissue is submucosa. And in addition now, what do we have here? We have found some glands that have even decided to invade or infiltrate themselves between smooth muscle bands as well. So here is a, a really, really, really good example of smooth muscle infiltration of a colon cancer. Here's a gland that's cancer, and notice how it is completely surrounded by smooth muscle. Now, whereas this here is fibrous tissue, mostly fibroblasts and collagen, this pinker stuff out here is smooth muscle. It's a, sometimes it's a very subtle differentiation, but in this area, you could see this. Now, how do you know this is a smooth muscle? Well, you know it's smooth muscle because if you pull out to where the thickest part of the normal smooth muscle is over here. It's staying exactly the same. And here's another little microscopic focus that decided to invade the smooth muscle of the uh, wall as well. So this tumor has not only perforated the muscularis mucosa, but it's also going into the uh, muscularis media as well. And if you want to take a quick um, mental photograph of that, it's one of the best things I've ever seen to show smooth muscle infiltration of an adenocarcinoma. And thank you very much.